Welcome to another edition of DSU Inside Perspective. I'm Carlos Holmes, and today we're going to do part two of our interview with DSU President uh, Dr. Harry Williams. Dr. Williams, thank you for coming back again with us Thank today. you, Carlos. If you notice, I have the same suit on that I had last time when I was here on TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, got it to the cleaners real quick, didn't you, sir? All right. We were talking about some ongoing developments. Up north in Newcastle County, we have a new site up there. Yes. What's going on up there in Newcastle County? Well, again, getting back to our mission as a, as a state university, mm -hmm. and we're the, we're the only state university in the state of Delaware, a four-year state university. Uh, university of Delaware, they're private. Uh, so, but being a state university, we have a, a commitment to serve the mm -hmm. entire state of Delaware. And we've had a footprint up in, in Wilmington, uh, but the facility that we had, uh, really didn't meet the needs of our, of our uh, students up there. So we were fortunate. Uh, we inherited uh, a facility mm -hmm. on Kirkwood Highway. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's called DSU in Wilmington, mm -hmm. DSU in Wilmington. Uh, and it's a facility where we, uh, it's an educational facility, and we have expanded our out outreach there. Mm -hmm. uh, the first cohort there is close to 200 students, mm -hmm. and most of them are enrolled in a, a couple of graduate programs mm -hmm. that we have up there. We have a master's in social work, mm -hmm. which is unique uh, mm -hmm. program at, at the university. We have a master's in, in sports management up there, and we have an MBA uh, that's up there. Mm -hmm. And we also have um, opportunities for students to do uh, undergraduate, an undergraduate curriculum up there too. So uh, we see that as, as our mission. Uh, to provide these educational opportunities for the students who, who want to have a Delaware State education, mm -hmm. but for some reason they cannot come to Dover. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we, we have created this opportunity where they can come there. Our faculty members actually go there and teach the courses, and we see this as, a, as another growth area for us in a very positive way in serving the state of Delaware. Mm -hmm. This summer, we made a bold move and reached a deal, a $12 million, 15-year lease agreement with the owners of the longtime Sheraton Hotel. Yeah. And I understand now we call this facility the DSU Living and Learning Commons. Right, right, it's yeah. our facility. It will, we have the option to buy it right, in right. two years. Right. Why was this important, important move for the university? It was, it was bold, like you said. Yeah. Uh, we, I went to the governor, and I made it very clear to the governor that some of our uh, facilities, in particular our residence halls, mm -hmm. are not up to speed. And mm -hmm. what I mean by that, they're outdated. Uh, some of them... Uh, uh, in terms of the, the way they were designed. Some mm -hmm. of them, they were designed in the 50s. Mm -hmm. And the expectation from our students these days, they, they expect more. Mm -hmm. And the type of student that we are attracting to our institution, they come from an environment where they have these amenities. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I um, challenged the governor in saying, you know, we would like for the state to help support us with some residence halls, some new residence halls, because I can, because it's time for us to transition in some of those residence halls. And as you know, we're in a real tight economy right now, and it's really tough. And the governor challenged me. He said, he said, well, have you ever thought about a private-public partnership relationship, you know, with uh, with some uh, some partners to create this this uh, opportunity for for some residence hall? And it really didn't dawn on me that we need to kind of think outside of the traditional way of thinking. So I had a strong uh, administrative team around me and, and one of my uh, vice presidents, executive vice president, Amir Mohammadi, had a relationship uh, with uh, the owner mm -hmm. of, the, of the Sheraton. And he came to me and said, we have an incredible opportunity mm -hmm. here to, to uh, get this facility. Mm -hmm. Now we have to be real quiet about it. And we, and we went into some real uh, secret you know, negotiation because the Sheraton is a, is a major footprint. It's the biggest resident, it's one of the biggest uh, hotels in town next to Dover Downs. Uh, and, and it's a, it's a prime low spot uh, and it could accommodate uh, about 300 students. And what that facility, what we saw in terms of that vision was that creating a facility that had just been renovated they spent about $8 million in renovating and putting the amenities and why, all the stuff that students would expect. Uh, we saw that as an incredible opportunity to solve a potential problem or challenge when it comes to residence halls here. Currently right now, students, where about 60% of our students live on campus. We don't want to get into a situation where we have an overflow and we have to go to a local hotel to book the students because we're going to, our enrollment is going to continue to grow. So by being proactive, 
we went ahead and started some secret negotiations to try to, to get this, to bring this together, and we, um, we secured it. And it, the, the great thing about this, Carlos, was that we had one month to turn that hotel into a residence hall. Mm -hmm. And our staff here worked literally around the clock. We didn't even bring any extra help in. We used the people here from Delaware State to go in and bring in new furniture, new beds, to make it feel like a residence hall. And they did it. They did it because they love this institution. There's a lot of pride associated with it. So when, I, when, we, when we shared the news with our students, you know, some of them were kind of, well, I don't know, you know, because we're so used to staying on campus. But by thinking a little bit outside of the box, uh, it created an opportunity. And what I've noticed that the students have really embraced it. We have close to 300 students in it right now. A lot of students are taking advantage and waiting for the shuttle, but some of them are walking uh, down 13. I'm concerned about that. I want them to be very careful when they're walking down 13 because it's a major highway. And we're working with the city and working with the state on trying to secure the proper uh, uh, sidewalks on, in there for our students because we know that they're going to they're gonna walk, which is good for, from a health perspective, but we want them to be uh, careful when they're walking down uh, 13 right now. But so the, the feedback that we've been receiving has been very positive in terms of the students there. Uh, and it's a big uh, facility. So we have some additional plans. I can't talk about it right now uh, as far as what we're going to do with the other side of the, the facility because they have a, a conference facility there. They have a, a restaurant there. So there are other opportunities for us to continue to expand in a, in a very positive way. Mm -hmm. And what's so exciting to me is that when you come off of uh, Route 1 and you get to the stoplight, mm -hmm. you make your left, and the first thing you're going to see is this big Delaware State sign. You know, we're working on the signage right now. It'll show Delaware State. And so all people driving in before they get to the main campus will see that. And, and it, again, it adds to the, to the positive stuff that's taking place here uh, in our community. You've had a number of successes as president during your tenure here, over three and a half years yep. plus. Yep. Uh, we are just continually, perpetually, perpetually uh, developing our research portfolio. Yep. 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 Uh, our optics is taking off. We've got scientists that are collaborating with NASA yep. on the Mars mission. Yep. Yep. We're, yep. we're getting ready to start construction on a new optics facility. We've got a neuroscience center with UD, which we're taking the lead on. Right, right. Uh, just wonderful things happening. You've talked a lot about friend raising, yep. and we've got relationships that we just didn't have before right, right. with people throughout the community, uh, when the state legis In fact, the legislator and the governor seem to have been really supportive of Delaware yep. State University. Yep. Talk about that, uh, that relationship well, we have. You know, that, that's important. That's important because we're a state university. And when mm -hmm. you're a state university, you get a third of your budget, almost mm -hmm. uh, 31, 32, mm -hmm. 35 million dollars from mm -hmm. the state. So therefore, the people who make those decisions on what you're going to get are the state legislators. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense for you to become friends with those individuals. So one of the first things I did as the president when I first started, I made it a point to go and sit down with each legislator, both from the House and the Senate, and talk about Delaware State University. And when I would go in and meet with the legislator, uh, I, would, I would make it very clear that I have one agenda, and my agenda is Delaware State mm -hmm. University. And talk to them about their responsibility in terms of supporting our state institution mm -hmm. and what we're doing for the state. Uh, before mm -hmm. I, I did that, I had a meeting with the governor, because the governor is the head of the state. So it's important for, the for you to have the governor on your side. So that friend mm -hmm. is an important friend to have. Mm -hmm. So we, we've spent a lot of time building those relationships. Mm -hmm. and, and like any other relationship, you can't just have one meeting and just stop it there. you got to have a process in place where you keep the doors open, where you have opportunities to, to meet and to greet and talk. So we have set up these opportunities where we invite our legislators. Anytime we have something on campus, we invite them to campus. And we also take uh, the beginning of the year, we, we invite our local legislative body in Kent County specifically, the people who represent those areas, to come in and talk to us. And we share with them about our priorities and what we'd like for them to advocate for us on our behalf. Mm -hmm. And what we have seen with the benefit of that, before I started, we didn't have any scholarship program here for our students. And we were very successful in securing uh, a major scholarship program that's funded 
by the state mm -hmm. for Delawareans. Uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was a task uh, that people, when I first started out, said it was going to be hard to, to get the state legislature to support Delaware State in that way. Uh, and I didn't believe that. I just felt very passionate that if we go in and talk about our students, and that's what we have. I mean, we have some of the best students in the world attending Delaware State University. So when you talk about the students, you talk about their aspirations, you talk about their dreams, you talk about what they want to become, because these are positive individuals. I mean, everybody here on this campus, the students who come here, they are coming to do something big and positive in their life. That's why they're here at this institution. Mm -hmm. They're here because they want to have a better life, mm -hmm. a better quality of life. And that's what an education will do. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about that, and those young individuals, and you, talk, you tell their stories, people will listen to mm -hmm. you. And we've been very successful in getting this scholarship program mm -hmm. here. Uh, and so far, we have received close to, from the state, just in this scholarship program alone, mm -hmm. uh, close to three and a half to four million dollars mm -hmm. uh, for scholarships for Delawareans. Mm -hmm. Uh, and one thing that's important to know about the scholarship program that we started was that we said, if you support this program, I guarantee you these students will give back to the state. And part of giving back, is, and it, it ties directly to our core value of, of our community and outreach, is, is giving of yourself. So we put in the, in the uh, scholarship program that uh, the students who go through it will have to do 20 hours of community service in Delaware. So we have a day in Delaware we call the, the day of service. Mm -hmm. So we have 400 of our students get on a bus, couple buses, and it's, and it's scattered throughout the state. Mm -hmm. There's nothing more positive and powerful than seeing college students painting uh, at, a, at a boys and girls club, you know, or working at a homeless shelter down in, in Wilmington mm -hmm. and giving back of themselves. And that's something that, that our students were doing. We're seeing more of our students getting out and doing more community service and giving back. So that's part of the image building and part of the perception that's been, uh, been a, in a very positive thing for our, for our institution. And that's why we, you know, we keep moving up in the rankings because we have people who are doing great things because they look at all those, those things in a, in a very positive way. Real quick, we got we got about 30 seconds left. What role do alumni have to play in our success? Well, I tell you, alumni, they play a critical role. And, and I need more than 30 seconds to talk about that. <laughs> but, but the bottom line, uh, the alums, uh, we need our alums. We need for them to continue to support the institution. We have great alums out there doing some wonderful things. Uh, I want our students who are here now to understand that when you enroll at Delaware State, what you're saying that you've made a lifetime commitment to this institution. There is no way you can get away from Delaware State the rest of your life, because whenever you go for your job, wherever you go, they're going to reference your institution. They're not going to talk about your high school. They're going to talk about your college. So that college will be there with you for the rest of your life. So your responsibility is to continue to protect that college or university, continue to wrap your arms around it and support it in a very positive way. We can see this president has a lot to share. So we're going to have to have a part three at some point in time. Dr. Okay. Williams, thank you so much. All right, for Carlos, thank you. And thank you for joining us one more time for DSU Inside Perspective. Y'all have a good day now.